sometimes the average does not tell a true picture. So in this example here, you'll see we've got an average of 2.89 for this data set. But as the chart shows, there's one anomaly, an outlier. There's a new function in Excel that allows us to exclude these outliers. So if we go, it is called trim mean. And all it asks for is where's the data set? So I'm just going to highlight that area there. Put the dollar signs on. And just to make it easier, you've got to give it a percent. I've just set up a whole bunch of percents here. So I'm just going to click on that one there. When I click OK, you'll see it gives a what looks like a much better number, more realistic number. When we copy it down, you'll see the numbers change. The only thing you have to be a little bit careful about with this function is how it treats these percentages. So at a very basic level, when you say 10%, what it's doing is it's saying how many numbers are there? 28. 10%, so 2.8 numbers will be removed. However, it has to be a multiple of two and it always rounds down. So 10% will actually remove two numbers, the very biggest number and the very smallest number. If you chose 20%, then the number would be 5.6. It rounds down to a multiple of two. So four numbers go, two from the top and two from the bottom. But you can see that this might be a more realistic average than that one there.